yeah, this meat is done. It's ready to come off the grill. And that, my friends, is how you make spare ribs. Hey, what's going on? Ant Steel Barbecue. This is Anthony here. And today we're going to be doing spare ribs on the grill. So this is a simple cook. But it's one of those staple, you know, entrees that you got to know how to make. Some good old-fashioned ribs. So what are we going to do with this one? So this is going to be one of those two-hour cooks, give or take. We're going to be smoking this one somewhere in the medium heat range. So 350 to 375, somewhere in there. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be smoking this. We're going to let those sit for about two hours. That way it's going to get really tender. Uh, for me, I like my ribs to not fall off the bone i don't want them real mushy um, i like them to have a nice little bite to them uh, but i still also want a nice bark as well so in this video we'll go over all of that how to you know set your fire up to make sure you do that so let's go ahead and get started so with any great cook you have to set your fire up right so like i said we're going to go with the two zone fire with this one if you haven't seen my video uh, feel free to click that link somewhere over there i think um, where basically it goes over a two zone fire system and you know why you should set it up that way But that's what we're going with again today and we're gonna have that fire around 350 to 375 so let's go ahead and get that fire set up real quick get our you know coals on there everything all that good stuff uh, Also, you want to go ahead and soak your wood. I'm going with the pecan wood, but you can go with whatever you want um, mesquite, you know, whatever you want to use, but I'm gonna use pecan today. So let's go ahead and get that fire set up. Let that get to cooking. That'll probably take about 15 minutes and then, you know, we'll head inside and go ahead and get our meat started. All right. So now we're ready to actually get our ribs prepared. So the thing that you'll notice between, you know, spare ribs versus say baby back ribs is that your spare ribs are going to be bigger. So they're going to be longer. Um, but what I notice is that they have less meat than say baby backs because the baby backs are very compact, I feel like you get more meat with it, but I like the presentation of the spares, so, you know, I kind of go between whichever ones I like for that particular day. But spare ribs today, I'm gonna show you how to basically get them prepped. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pat them down, because obviously they're gonna be kind of, you know, wet with blood and all that good stuff, so we're gonna pat it down. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of that off. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I always like to pull the membrane back to go ahead and expose the bones on the, on the bone side, so, I go ahead and do that and for my binder I use you know like some some olive oil and that's pretty much it I don't like to put too much fat on there but we are, we're just gonna do olive oil and then I made my rub you can make your rub however you want or you can buy a rub from you know the store whichever one you prefer but I made me an in-house rub and so we're gonna go ahead and do that so let's get started on prepping that meat <laughs> actually sitting at 375 so that's like the perfect temp so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna go ahead and throw our meat on there I'm smoking really well I threw that pecan wood on there so we're ready to go so let's go ahead and load up the grill with our ribs and kick back for a while <laughs> So we got our meat on the grill. Um, I just set my timer for about an hour and 15 minutes. And what that timer is for, we're not even gonna open that guy up. We're, we're gonna let that smoke completely get into that meat for a good hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. Um, we're not even gonna open it up. We're gonna let that heat continue to do its thing and, and work on the rib. So in the meantime, let's kick back. I don't know about y'all, but I got my glass of Merlot. So 
I'm gonna just be out here hanging out in the backyard and we're gonna let that do its thing and we'll come back to it. So make sure you set your stopwatch so you know, you know how long your meat has been on and go from there. All right, so we've had the grill on now for an hour and 15. Um, my temp is right around 340 or so. Um, I feel like once we open this up, it's gonna look really good. So let's take a look. Ah, so we got a really good bark on it. Those are turning out really well. And see, look, take a look at this. See those, those bones are starting to, oh man, they're starting to get exposed. So this meat is turning out really good. Only thing I'll probably do is I'll probably add a couple blocks of wood just to keep that smoke going. Um, it's going pretty good right now. I just like to have as much smoke as I can. So let's go ahead and just throw a couple, you know, blocks of wood on there. But other than that, we're going to let that sit for another probably 30 or so. And then uh, it should be it should be ready to go. So let's let that sit. All right, we are at the two hour mark. So let's see what our meat is looking like. Ah, oh, and it's looking really good. So we got a great bark on there. We can see it's very tender because the meat is starting to pull back from the bone. So that just lets you know it's really tender. And then if we run, if we run our instant read thermometer on there, let's see what it's what it's reading at. So we can see that you know it's going up pretty quickly. We're really aiming around, you know, say like the 170 and up range. You know, that's where it starts to get really tender on the inside and also you know that it's done. So we can see, you know, that's going up really quickly, which I wasn't worried about. I knew that this meat was gonna pretty much be done after two hours. You know, see, so we're peaking right around. Oh yeah, it's still going up 180, 185, 186. So yeah, this meat is done. It's ready to come off the grill. And that, my friends, is how you make spare ribs. So let's go ahead and take this inside and you know cut them up, let it rest, and then give it a taste test. But these are looking really good. All right, so now was the moment of truth. We're actually gonna do our taste test. So I was able to take my ribs inside, I cut them down. Um, this is one of my samples. So with these ribs, I didn't put any sauce on them. I'm just doing you know straight dry rub on these. So let's do a quick taste test and, and see how they are. Uh, so already, I mean, they pull apart really easily. Uh, you can see this is separating from the bone so good. So I already know they're tender, but let's see how they taste. Oh, man. <laughs> so the good thing about these is they still start to smack them. They still have that good bite that I like, but also they're tender. So you're not sitting here chewing forever. Um, overall, it's just a good, a really good texture. You don't have to work that hard to eat them. And they just taste good just like they are. It's a very nice smoky taste to them. But with the rub I use, I made my own. A little bit of it was cayenne pepper. So it has a little kick to it, but I also counteracted it with the brown sugar. So a little spicy and also a little, you know, sweet. So this is a win for me. Hopefully yours turn out just as good as mine. But, oh man, I mean, these are, these are so good. So, again, hopefully yours turn out just as good. Uh, if you like what you saw, please, please, please like, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Also, I want to hear from you. So, you know, comment down below. I want to hear how yours went. Uh, but other than that, this is another episode of Ant Still Barbecue. Uh, catch you later. Peace.